join me, never too old. As I explore the waters of local lakes and quarries, as well as the waters of the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic, and the Caribbean Sea. Two thirds of this world is covered by water. So let's go into this adventure and meet along the way amazing creatures that have made this amazing blue world home. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Never Too Old SD. Uh, this time, I'm not in the water. Uh, this video is gonna be a little different. One of my viewers asked me if I could do a segment on scuba diving equipment. So this one I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do a series of video. And I'm gonna show you, if you want to become a scuba diver, what do you need to do in order to do so? Uh, the different equipment and gear that you're gonna need and the different agencies that teach you how to become a scuba diver. Now, before we uh, start going into details, uh, before you want to use any of this equipment, uh, you have to make sure that you get the proper training because some of the equipment, not the one I'm gonna be talking about right now, but uh, in future videos, uh, some of the equipment you're gonna need proper training because if you don't know what you're doing when you're using it, it can cost you uh injuries or even death so i suggest you that before you try some of this equipment to get the proper training but uh right now we're going to go into the basics but well, first of all we're going to talk about the snorkeling system it is the the basic equipment that you're going to need if you don't want if you want to go exploring and be on top of the water looking at the looking down to the fish and the coral and the rocks etc and i have uh some of the stuff that you're gonna need and you're gonna need a mask they are different kind of masks they come in different colors uh different shapes you have to make sure that the mask is uh is tempered glass some of them it, it says it right right there i don't know if you can see a tempered glass some of them it just has the letter t on it uh, but what it is is that you have to make sure that it's a very strong glass because when you go deep you don't want your mask to crack and then that can cause you serious injury uh, on the water i have another one here this is a, the one that i'm using the most right now and some of these masks you can even uh, put your prescription like if you wear glasses like myself I have my prescription in the glass the lenses you can get lenses and if they're not that expensive you know for less than a hundred bucks you can get it done that way you can see clearly when you're on the water I have different kinds and different different sizes and different brand according to your to your budget you know you don't you don't have to get the most expensive piece of gear in order to enjoy a snorkeling different kind of snorkels also that they range in different different prices too from like 10 bucks to like 80 bucks even 100 bucks this is the one that i'm using lately this is a scuba pro I think this, this one wrote for about 40 bucks, $45, I mean, something like that. And some of them, you can even change the the mouthpiece, you know, if, it, if they happen to break, you can just pull this off and get a new mouthpiece. 
is a very old one. You can see you see it has like a valve there that you can just blow the earth and then it comes out of there, but it doesn't let water go back in. And this right here, uh, like if you're on the surface and it's, it's like wavy, it just keep water from going in by having that up there. Fins, there are different kinds of fins too, different brands. This one, uh, it's like you, you put your foot in and like some of it, it sticks out. Like the heel, it sticks out of there and you adjust it. Now for this fin, you're gonna need a boot because if you wear this without a boot, it's gonna hurt your, your foot. So for that, you, you use a boot and uh, they come in different thickness. This is a seven millimeter boot and it's a, it has a hard sole, so you can walk on on gravel and stuff like that, and it won't hurt your your feet. This one come uh, not only high boot like this, but they come short too. Uh, it, it's up to you what you like. And then, uh, like for this, for instance, this this fin, this one is what I use for bodyboarding. It's a, it's a shorter one because it's, it's, uh, it's mostly used just to propel yourself on the surface. So you don't really, I guess you can go deep with this, but you're not going to go very far with this. And for this kind of thing, you need something like this. It's more like a, like a sock. This is really soft. This is not made for you to walk around on, on rock and stuff like that. This is just for you to use in the fin so it doesn't hurt, hurt your 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 feet your feet I have another one another fin here this is Sherwood it's a very very good fin this is the one that I'm actually using right now and it has a different it has like a pulley here you pull this it goes in your your heel and when you got, want to take it off you just pull this and it's, it's this one's really easy you don't have to you don't have to adjust anything like like with this one see this one you have to adjust here to tighten around the heel area this one you don't you put your you put your foot in you pull this and that's it it's a it's a very good thing i like it so this is the basic stuff that you will need uh, for snorkeling and you for this you don't need a special training although I suggest that you that you know how to swim and that you are comfortable in the water then later on if you want to uh, uh, keep going and you want to go deep and you want to become a scuba diver then for that you need uh, a special gear and there are different different agencies that you can go and uh, contact if you know you want to get scuba diving training some of them are PADI which is professional association of diving instructors there's uh, NAWI which is national association of underwater instructors we have SSI Scuba School International, SDS, Scuba Diving International, I should say S SDI, Scuba Diving International, SPDIC also, uh, Professional Diving Instruction Corporation, and many other uh, agencies that you can contact if you want to become a scuba diver. Well, like I said, this is going to be a series of uh, videos, but for now, right now, this is the basic stuff that you will need if you at least want to see uh, some of the fish and coral by just snorkeling and stay on the top of the water, even though you can just free dive also. But for this, you know, you will have to hold your breath. Uh, but at least you can take a camera with you. You can take a GoPro or some other 
uh, waterproof camera and enjoy uh, a little bit of the of the ocean and the creatures of the deep. So this is the first video and in the next video I'm going to be going into the stuff that you will need right after you take your scuba diving classes and if you want to, like I said, go in depth into scuba diving. Well, this has been Evan to All SD. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you like this video. And if you have any other questions, you can just comment down below in the comment section. Thank you very much. See you later.